Why do you believe people are easy to manipulate? Let me reintroduce myself. My name is Joe Seuss and I bet you already forgot my name. Let's start with the poll for the video. First, think of zebras. Are you easy to manipulate? 64% said no. 36% thinking of zebra. Let me know in the comment below what your answer is. Follow or subscribe to be in the next poll. Let's remove all the easy ones. You know, the ones that are not mentally there. The dumb ones, they can't think for themselves and rely on people to get through life. They are an adult body but still in their teen mindset or lower. Or any guys who see boobs, same thing. Disability people lives are shitty. We are told no a lot in so many areas. Accessibility, jobs, relationship, doctor visit, a second breakfast, etc. It's very easy to get discouraged. So when someone says yes to anything, it's a feeling like, holy shit, I just want to take it right away. That yes is extremely rare. Like finding a rare Pokemon and you just want to capture it or it's gone forever. If you aren't in a good place mentally or have a home and support to lean back on, you are desperate to accept the yes and deal with the consequences. You don't want to be in the situation you are currently in, so anything is better. A new situation may not be better, or exchanging one set of problems with another. Let's throw in an example and it could not be disability specific. Allah say you want a date. You keep striking out until somebody says yes yeah to you. Inside you're like holy shit, somebody actually likes me and wants to be with me? Huh? So you go along with it. Everything is great but then they start pulling away from you so you try harder. Love harder, more gifts, hoping things might change. They probably know what is happening, but you definitely don't. You get tired and exhausted and hold on to the idea that it was amazing at one point and it could happen again. After a while, you break down and hope to have a moment of clarity of wow, I am being shitted on and deserve someone better. Some people can leave and some can't. I was a weak and vulnerable person in the story. My disability made me like that. It's cringy and sad, but it's a good lesson to learn. I blame my disability because it made me weak and vulnerable as my body kept attacking me. I wouldn't have let it go so deep if I was not mentally chattered at the time, and also desperate to have anybody to chat with and share. I had no other option, so I stuck with it for an extra six months. The breakup is even harder, but it is for the better. Now that my body's health is more stable, I am able to rebuild my mental health and invite things in my life that is good. Of course, most decisions come with baggage or red flags or consequences or hard work, but as long as the booty is big, I will fight hard to get it. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the morning.